I'm with Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg. Welcome, Senator. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. Let's talk about the new Select Committee on NJ Transit. Uh, Senate President Steve Sweeney created this committee because he says NJ Transit's been a failure at uh, achieving a comeback, and he says he's tired of waiting. But when you talk to the CEO of NJ Transit, Kevin Corbett, he said, well, he politely disagrees with that assessment. He says, you know, we've been hollowed out so badly it's going to take a while for a comeback. Where do you think the committee is going to focus? Well, <clears throat> you know, as they're discussing in Washington today, we in New Jersey, the legislature is an equal partner with the executive branch. So I think having a select committee and enabling the legislature and the public who will uh, be able to witness it, really get into the nitty gritty of NJ Transit, the problems, as well as where there are improvements, uh, will help all of us to come together to find the proper funding mechanism for NJ Transit and the kinds of things that they're going to need in the new budget. So I view this as a positive step. Where do you think the committee should focus? Pick a couple of targets that you think are really most important. Well, if one reads social media, which in spite of my age, I do, and it is filled with complaints from bus riders, train riders. Uh, it affects the quality of life of so many New Jerseyans. You know, 900,000 New Jerseyans use NJ Transit in a given day, buses, trains, etc. So um, I think it's headed into finding out what is going on and how can we move the solutions more quickly. When you talk about funding, NJ Transit, according to advocates, desperately needs a, de a dedicated source of funding. And Senator Sweeney had said that that would be one item that would be on the agenda. What suggestions might you have? And some people have said perhaps raise the sales tax by a half a percent and, and dedicate well, that. Where I would you go? I think we have to look into all of the alternatives. And it's one of the things that the CELEC committee will do. We do. They do need a dedicated source of funding. I don't think anybody argues with that. It can't all be on the backs of the customers, the mm -hmm. people who use it. Uh, but I think that we're going to have to come up with a solution whatever it might be, wherever we look, to make sure that there is an adequate stream of dependable funding that comes to them each year. Having said that, even what the governor asked for this year in his budget, I was in the unenviable position of arguing with the bureaucracy, NJ Transit bureaucracy, <clears throat> excuse me, you need more money. Mm -hmm. And they were telling me they didn't. <laughs> We almost forced an additional $50 million on them, which, of course, they needed. It's a drop in the bucket. Now, they've got 40 to 45 percent of their operating revenues now, depending on fares. And if you read the tea leaves, it sounds like they won't be calling for a fare increase until June 30th of next year. After that, though, it sounds like they may be coming up for, for well, that's very... certainly something that the CELEC committee is going to be able to look into in terms of the new budget mm -hmm. of next year's budget. So I think having a real in-depth look at what's going on there, whether money can be saved in other places, where, whether real estate can be uh, used to help shore up, all of those will be considered. Quickly, your NJ Transit reform bill established a 13-member board. They've still only got three. Yeah, well, <clears throat> what happened here is the governor made some nominations, some of whom uh, I think are pretty good and some of whom are wonderful people but had no background in transportation or even in using public transportation. So uh, we have agreed with the governor's office that we're going to review those names perhaps come up with a few more people who have some direct knowledge of NJ Transit or at least have transportation issues in their background and come together by the end of the year to fill that board out. Senator Loretta Weinberg, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.